But first, we are less than one day away from Sippy Cup meeting with Vladimir Putin. And tonight, ahead of the summit, well, Putin is trashing the U.S., openly laughing at Joe Biden. Vladimir Putin, he is a hostile actor, and Joe was right, he's a murderer. He runs his country like a massive crime syndicate. Not like Joe and Hunter and Joe's brother, the Biden family syndicate, except a little more ruthless. Anyway, like most organized criminals, Vladimir only responds to strength. He doesn't respond to weakness. And so, obviously, he doesn't respect or fear President Sippy Cup. Why should he? Now, under Biden, the era of peace through strength is over. American first policies have now been replaced with America dead last policies. Just last month, Russia hackers, they wreaked, literally wrecked America's oil and gas supply. Joe inexplicably then rewards Putin lifting sanctions and giving a waiver to Putin for Russia to build a pipeline so they can supply the lifeblood of our Western European allies energy. Biden's appeasement strategy is not the only thing at play here. During Joe's trip abroad, the entire world seeing firsthand how weak, how frail, how confused, how, what a cognitive struggling mess Joe really is. One Sky News Australia host actually raising concerns about, quote, Joe Biden's mental capacity. After this video emerged showing Joe aimlessly wandering around a cafe in England, well, to be rescued by Jill Biden, one New York Post headline read, quote, bumbling Biden's G7 NATO summit performance only boosts U.S. Euro foes. Another headline reads, more evidence Joe Biden is just not well. True to form, today, Joe got completely confused mid-sentence during a meeting. Um, I don't know what to even tell you that he's trying to say here. I'll let you decipher. Take a look. Europe is, uh, is uh, our, our natural partner. And the reason is we're committed to the same democratic norms and institutions. And, are, uh, and they are increasingly under attack. And, uh, and we, I've said before, and I apologize to repeat, oh, I didn't, that's Jake Sullivan, you know, Jake is my NASA security advisor. I'm leaving out a lot of people here. I apologize. I'm going to get in trouble. But anyway, we'll get back to that. But um, uh, we, um, uh, you know, there's a lot that, uh, that is, 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 is happening. Okay. Why does the president of the United States constantly live in a state of fear he's going to get in trouble? Joey, sippy cup, you're the president. If I need to remind you every hour of every day, I'll be glad to. This trip has been an utter train wreck. Frankly, I find it embarrassing, and it's all that Dr. First Lady Jill Biden can do to try and keep Joey in line. Take a look. You can sit down. <laughs> I don't want you to stand through. <laughs> Joe, pay attention. <laughs> How are your meetings going in Cornwall, Mr. President? I beg your pardon? How are your meetings going here in Cornwall? Very well. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Joey, pay attention. Okay, Joe, you're the president. You don't need permission, and you got to focus as president. If you try really hard, you might do better. But don't worry, I'm sure tomorrow's meeting with the hostile regime thug of Russia known as Vladimir Putin, oh, I'm sure this is just going to go great. And in case you need more evidence to decide whether or not Joe is up to the task, we report, we let you decipher for yourself. Take a look. Vladimir Putin laughed at the suggestion that you had called him a killer. Is that still your belief, sir, that he is a killer? <laughs> to answer the first question, <laughs> I'm laughing too. They actually, I. Uh, well, look, I mean, he has made clear that. Uh, uh, The answer is, I believe he has in the past essentially acknowledged that he was, uh, there are certain things that he would do or did do. 
one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one. What's with the ten second pause? The world is watching this mess. And by the way, Joe Biden was oh three hours late to that presser where he answered questions from just five pre-approved reporters. We have no idea Joe was three hours late. They won't give us an answer. I don't know. Maybe he drank his warm milky early and took a nap. I don't know. Nappy time. Was he loading up on his caffeine so his brain could function at a halfway decent level? We have no idea. Whatever the case may be, I think it's obvious now to the entire world why there's not going to be a joint press conference following tomorrow's summit with Putin. The administration is scared to death. Joe will deeply embarrass himself and the country even further, and Vladimir will take advantage of Joe's clear cognitive weakness and constant state of confusion. And of course, there are also concerns surrounding zero experience. Hunter Biden, yeah, he's the guy that collected millions of dollars from the first lady of Moscow. That's right, the mayor of Moscow's wife and Kazakhstan oligarchs and Ukrainian oligarchs, you know, and the pro Russian oligarch who owns Burisma Holdings in Ukraine. Again, listen closely zero experience Hunter made millions of dollars in Ukraine. No relevant experience whatsoever. Today, Joe announced Ukraine is too corrupt to join NATO, but not corrupt enough for Hunter to get paid millions. Take a look. Uh, Ukraine wants a clear yes or no on getting into the NATO membership action plan. So what's your answer? Depends on whether they meet the criteria. The fact is they still have to clean up corruption. The fact is they have to meet other criteria to get into the action plan. And so it's, you know, schools out on that question. It remains to be seen. Let us get this straight, Joey. Sippy cup. Okay. So Ukraine's too corrupt for NATO, uh, but perfect for the Biden family syndicate. Joe, zero experience. Hunter gets paid millions. Any experience in oil, gas, energy, or Ukraine? No. Uh, imagine if a Trump was doing this. And speaking of which, Hunter Biden has a new money-making scheme. He just launched a career as an artiste, apparently. And despite zero professional experience, no art degree, Hunter is now selling his paintings at a top gallery in New York City. He expects to collect up to a half a million dollars for each masterpiece. Maybe we'll call it portraits from a crack addict or something. And of course, according to the gallery, the buyers will all remain anonymous. Oh, who's trying to buy favor now? Should make your skin crawl. This might be the Biden family's most blatant pay to play scheme yet. Time will tell. It is seedy, it's disgusting, and it's happening right in front of our eyes. But apparently, when you're a Biden, the rules don't apply to you. You can lie on a gun application, you can sell access to the highest levels of our federal government, you can smoke crack, you can abandon your own child, take away the child's mother's health care. If you're Hunter, you can even say the N word. And in the case of Joe, you can outright lie on three occasions. I've never talked to Hunter about his foreign business dealings, but we have pictures of him dining as vice president with his foreign business partners. So that's right. If you're a Biden, you can pretty much get away with anything. Your doors are not going to be kicked in pre-morning, pre-early morning raid, guns drawn. You won't have CNN cameras capturing it all. You're not going to get interrogated for hours on end. You won't be threatened with decades behind bars. The media mob, big tech, they'll always keep you in their Biden protection program. They'll have your back. There'll be no investigations, no negative coverage, nothing. The so-called journalists and the press, they're just more than happy to stick their heads in the sand while our country goes straight to hell and shows nothing but weakness to the world just because they like Joe's democratic, radical, new Green Deal socialism. So tomorrow, expect glowing praise from the media mob. Joe was tough with Vladimir. If he's so tough with Vladimir, why doesn't he stand next to Vladimir in front of the world and say it right to his face and let us watch it? But know this, no good is coming out of this. Here, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.